Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces to a new dawn and a new day. My name is Tom and I film every single weekday of my life and post it for your faces each weekday at 7pm. We are waking up to just a completely different world this morning. And that is because I see the perspective of everything now as an old man. I am officially 30 years old and what a weekend we just had to celebrate turning 30. That plane, no joke, probably has some of my friends on it. Heading back from the hectic weekend we just had in Ibiza. And when I say this right now, I mean it. That could possibly have been the best holiday of my life, the best day of my life, the best weekend of my life. I was surrounded by my friends, my family, and it had the ups, it had the downs, it had the emotion, I was crying. It was just perfect. And I cannot wait to post it here on the YouTube for your guys' faces. And I'm sure people are gonna be like, Tom, why is this not the party video that you're posting? And the answer is, I just need to tell you this. I put down the iPhone. I didn't daily vlog, because it wasn't a weekend, it was a Saturday. I hired a cameraman. We had drones, we had 360 cameras, we had jet skis, we had boats, we had villas. It was something out of a movie, and it is being edited together for something so special to share with your faces. So if you're excited for that, we're fingers crossing to try and get it ready for this weekend. So all I'm saying is if you're not subscribed, there may be a bonus video coming out on Saturday for you to just watch the madness that was me turning 30. But it's back to reality because it's a Monday, Monday, Monday. The bed is made, the workout's done, and we have got to get this day rocking and rolling. I've got my bags to unpack, bills that need to be paid, but more importantly over anything, I've got some breakfast to be eaten. And bosh, it's in my belly. And now it's time to batter myself with this thing. I know it may look suspicious, but it's actually called a therapy gun, of which I like to call the ray gun, because my legs absolutely feel like concrete, and this is gonna solve that and be the solution. So stop me from being stiff. Yeah, saucy bastard. But all right, enough with me rubbing myself. I'm grabbing my shoes. I'm getting outside where somehow the sun has just come out beaming, and we're going around the back of the house because whilst I was away, I got a notification that something was brewing in my back garden and oh my gosh it was oh. <laughs> So if you're new around here and you didn't know this is the house next door to mine Which is like my passion project kind of do what I want with it when I want with it. We set fireworks off in it we built a zip line on it and then we made a plunge pool for it. But whilst I've been away for my birthday, the one and only Thomas Upton has come and I, I can't even point to words to describe what he's done. He's taken the absolute massive mound of dirt we've had from here, built it up against the sides, chucked a load of turf on it, attached a filtration system built into the mound, and I shit you not, he's even gone ahead and installed a step system for getting in and out of it. No freaking way. I am absolutely mind blown that Tom Upton has done this. Like, don't get me wrong. We, if we plant some grass seed all along this and Andy the Gardener's like, yeah, I can make this all look flush as anything. You tell me that that doesn't look epic. Like, honestly, I am in awe that he's managed to get that done over the weekend whilst I've been away. I'm also in awe at how I've just managed this. When I was walking around it, there's a lot of clay and dirt everywhere and I've absolutely just busted up my trainers. Which makes no sense for me to do that. Because if I would have just taken two seconds to get my brand new birthday gift that I got off Lydia's mum, I could have pissing prevented it. <laughs> but oh no, multi-purpose Tom over here trashed these trainers, but it is what it is. I can clean them, we're gonna be absolutely fine. But something that is like completely just below my mind is this weekend trip that I've been on, it was just amazing, honestly. I, I came back from it like, best birthday ever. I don't think it can get any better than this. I completely forgot that Lydia, my most incredible girlfriend, is just the most thoughtful, brilliant person ever. And she surprised me with my birthday presents when we got home, of which I was saying, so did her mum, which, again, when you see what she got me, uh, it's gonna kind of be like a, why didn't you wear them, rather than them. My bad. But we came home and Lydia wanted me to unbox my birthday presents, so we did it and I vlogged it, I filmed it, because she was like, I think you should catch this on camera. And it blew my mind. She's honestly so thoughtful. I've told her for a profession and a job, what she should do is personalize gifts for people because she's so thoughtful of something that you might not think of, but like she'll take note of something from like years ago, bring it up and then just surprise you with the best birthday gift in the world. But she surprised me and she was like, I think you should vlog it because it, it it's gonna blow your mind. And you know what? 
she did. So I've got some vlog footage that we're going to throw to. I hope you enjoy it and then we'll pick back up with the vlog. <laughs> I got some presents. And, and I, I did have some presents in Ibiza, but um, I think you guys already knew about one, which was the swim shorts. I then got a lovely t-shirt from All Saints. Yeah, the swim shorts were a massive surprise. I'm yeah. so sorry, I, I didn't, I totally didn't ruin it. And then I got Gingerbread Man, because I'm 10 years old at heart. Oh, and I did get this present. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so happy I've got this. Look at that, my adventure book. For all my adventures that I go on, and with Lydia, we can put them in this we and share it. You polarized from this weekend in that one if you want. I want to do that first. Okay. Yes, that's what we're going to put in that book. All right, I've set my camera up in the tripod because it's present opening time. Okay, so this is a card of my uncle Colin. That's it's okay to act a little bit weird, weird on your birthday with a 30 card. What, what a guy. He said, Tom, wishing you a great 30th birthday. Man, I'm not even kidding. I know we've had balloons this weekend saying 30th on it. That just made it real. Yeah. I, that might be weird. I don't know if my face changed in that moment, birthday. but wishing you a great 30th birthday. People have always been saying all weekend, like, happy birthday, like, happy birthday, happy birthday. Like, we had such a good day or whatever. But I, I feel like I didn't hear the happy 30th. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Lots of love, and Auntie Lee and Uncle Carl and the gang. And amazingly, he said, happy 30th birthday. We've donated £30 to Alzheimer's research. That's very nice. That's I really appreciate that. Person. Thank you so much. Mwah. You're an absolute top G. So this is my first gift. Yeah. Can I guess what it is? Yeah. I don't have a clue. Um, no, I really don't. It's not shaking. I've not got any any ideas whatsoever. <laughs> 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 no way. <laughs> well, they're a different colour. Okay. No. What? Blue balls. They were meant to be actually black, but they came blue. Okay, which one next? The heavy one. Th this one? Yeah, this is a real random one. Is, it, is it actually a brick? It's a piece of, it's slate. Something slate. Yeah, okay. Wait, what? It's a lobster cracking set. Is that what it is? Do you know how I guess that? Well, the, the, there's a picture of a lobster on it. <laughs> what? What? You're so good at gift ideas. <laughs> You're so good. What comes with a little fancy bag? You are your next level. If you guys don't know, I love crab. But that's a brilliant gift, baby. Thank you so much. Whoa! I don't even want. I don't even care about anything else. Not that I cared about that. I needed anything in the first place. Like she was like, "I've got your presents," but I was like, "Lid, I don't want anything." Like I've had the best, the best time, and it's just been amazing. Over the bottom ones. I'm going to. I'm going to guess this is you trainers. You know this one. So every, everyone who says to me, like, you know, about like my shoe taste or whatever, I don't buy my own trainers. And it's not because like, I'm an idiot and I can't do it. I just don't. I don't really care about like hype beast shoes or anything like that shoes. I just like the look of something. If I like the look of trainers, I go for it. But Lydia's got really good trainer taste. So some people say to me, like, Tom... You, you're wasting good shoes, like, don't get me wrong, I know, like, oh, can you West Ram and everything, but these were the trainers that I wanted for so long, and I wore them for, like, everything, like, hiking mountains in, building in, going on nights out in, I wore them all the time. I think you have all the pairs of them. Well, well I don't Easy, know, right? Yeah. So, wore them all the time to the point where, like, they're just deflated as anything. Then, Lid, Lid got me these trainers, which I didn't wear for a long time, but then all of a sudden, I just love the look of, when I first saw them at first, I was like, oh, I can't see what I'm going to wear, like, pinkish shoes too much but then i started wearing them everywhere then i've worn yeah. them for everything but i've worn them that much now that they've like started to to, to go on the inside mm -hmm. but I, I just wear them until death yeah. because when it's my birthday i get these trainers i don't think these are going to be a wear till death ones but these are kind of ones that you wanted more than that i would buy oh really yeah I, you think these are the ones that i would wanted more you've commented on these trainers a lot really yeah. Oh. So normally I just pick for you. Oh. But you've commented on these a lot. Nikkei. <laughs> See, now I don't want to ruin these ones though, because they look I know. so new. These are really like yes. the ones that you're going to kill. They are so fresh. You're the best. Yes. <laughs> we have one more. Can you guess the one downstairs? I think it's the old man laying chair. <laughs> I feel like we should do the one downstairs first. So I feel like this one might ruin it a little bit. Okay, let's let's go. 
Downstairs. <laughs> main present time. <laughs> this is my main birthday present. So just to give a bit of context for like the last weeks, Lydia's been like, do not go downstairs in the basement. I've hid your present there. Don't look at it, don't touch it, don't do anything with it. And I, I've had to go in that room, but when I go in, like I look around like that or I look at the floor, I'm like, no, I'm not doing it, not doing it. Just because I don't like spoiling surprises. I'm like all against that. I like taking guesses, but I don't like spoiling it. So every time I've driven my Defender, down the back here, I've always seen this big box. You can kind of semi-see through the windows. Yeah, but I could see like individual words on in it by actually just like with my like, headlights. You'd have to like really look at it, wouldn't you? And I've constantly gone, no, I'm not looking at it. And I've purposely avoided it because I genuinely just didn't want to see in the slightest. Sorry, but I, I couldn't move this um, by myself, so... It, well, it, it needed a forklift to get it off, so... My guess is I've just always liked these really old man chairs where it just like cups you so you like you feel like you're sat in like zero g gravity and then with a foot poof stool and it's the ultimate old man thing and i'm turning 30 so it's old man thing but like for when i'm sat replying to my youtube comments i just want the world's most comfortable chair to do oh, it oh man in. i think you're gonna be disappointed <laughs> right i don't know what it is boom i still don't know what it is i looked at it and Paul, look i don't know what it is what is it I'm not going to, be able to move that. No, we can't move that. We're going to have to wait for no someone. There's no way you bought that. We need help. I can't believe you bought that. That's way better than an old man chair. Oh my god. Oh my god. She's bought me a pissy massage chair. <laughs> wait, and it comes with a robot. <laughs> I'm joking. No, you didn't. I want to get it out now. <laughs> These games. What's that? If I paid a slight extra, you could get a gift. Yeah. <laughs> so they're a bit random, oh. but also hilarious. Wait, what? A babe, I never would have guessed that. <laughs> Holy I shit. thought you were going to guess pinball machine. Wait, what is this? If you pay extra, you get a Spider-Man item. What? What is it? I have no idea what this is. Is it Spider-Man headphones or something? What? They're massage goggles. No. <laughs> they do your eyes. <laughs> but they're Spider-Man. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my God. No way. No way. <laughs> you look so cool. <laughs> no. I thought they were headphones. Heated massage goggles. I... Do you know why you're such a good gift giver? I constantly sit like this, rubbing my eyes like that, just being pressurized. Oh my gosh. You're the best gift giver, giver ever. Oh my God, I cannot believe it. I want to see what my reaction was like, because I was not, I was not expecting that. Wow. I thought I was going to have to wait to charge them. Oh no, I made sure they were charged. But, you heard it, listen. What? Welcome to the spot. He said, "Welcome to the Spider-Man, like something or other." Oh, oh, what the hell? Oh, I feel like I'm on a fucking ride. That looked dead cool. Oh, do you know what it's doing? It's constantly like building pressure, and then relaxing it. You look hilarious. I'm, I'm absolutely <laughs> enjoying this, but I just can't understand what I'm gonna look like from the outside. <laughs> That is absolutely bizarre. Do you know, like when, when the companies like actually officially licensed the stuff, I bet they were like, when that request came through, they were like, Spider-Man eye massage mask? Are we sure about this one? Are we, are we green lighting this one? Wait, can you hear fucking seagulls? Yeah. You're like, you're in some wild VR Oh yeah, it's really scenario. massaging me though. You can physically see it moving on your face. Whoa, that's bizarre. That's mad. Did you get a massage on your cheeks? Yeah. That's mad. You look so weird. <laughs> <laughs> you look so weird. Lynn's mum has brought me my 30th birthday present. And as soon as I saw it, I'm like, that, that goes over my head, that name. But if there's one thing I know, it's you. And I guessed some proper Wellington boots. I honestly thought it was ripped down the side. I was well panicked. But it's got a zip. 
leather interior. Oh, that's a good smell, that isn't it? <laughs> Don't mind me. Just a bloke with his wellies on. They are, do you know what's good about them? They just, they feel like the part of your, the, they like. Fit. They fit yeah, 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 they fit, but it fit like you can't do that in a set of wellies. Yeah, no, it's a wellie. Because you, you. you're just stuck, aren't you? <laughs> when I when I buy the land, I promise you, the first footstep I'll put on the land will be whoosh, in the shamo. In the shamo wellies. But Vic got me this. He says, "To Tom, love Vicky, something you didn't know you needed. It's a it's a toy cow." For the farm, <laughs> you know, like a kid, you know, like a kid's toy, like plaything. Yeah. It's a toy. It's a toy cow or a sheep. Still don't know what it is. Still don't know what it is. Still. It's lights me across. <laughs> I know exactly what it is. It's night mode. <laughs> I know exactly what it is. I can't believe you bought these. Get the Crocs out. There's no way. <laughs> She bought me headlights for my Crocs. Vic, you're ridiculous. <laughs> Wait. Oh know. my gosh, they're so strong. <laughs> watch out, guys. I, Where are you, watch out, guys. I'm coming. Wait, can I put them on my militia moves as well? <laughs> no, I don't think they'll do. I oh. fell in love with them. Yeah, look. You found them, didn't you? I can you do know? it on the bottom of it, though. So I can never misstep when walking <laughs> through my land. No way, that's how they fit on. No, <laughs> they're amazing. There you go. <laughs> What's that? Disco, disco mode. Oh, wait, here you go. Disco. <laughs> Them. Wait, does that go in the hole? Yeah, you can yeah. put them wherever. So, what if I got like eight pairs of <laughs> each shoe? <laughs> Screw my willies. When I'm in the farmer's field, I can just point my crock at someone. <laughs> what are you doing around here, you? What are you doing around here? Get off me land. Get off the land! Be gone! I just need my shotgun license now. Bang! <laughs> They're cracking them, mate. Thank you so much. <laughs> what a birthday gift, like. I, I'm just mind blown. Like, you know, from it being something like a tennis ball to crab stuff to bloody needing a bunch of blokes or a forklift truck to get that massage chair up here because we think we're going to put it in place of the throne and then take the throne downstairs into the basement. But then. Come on, man. What a banging gift. Headlights for your Crocs. You better know I'm going to buy 12 more of them, put them on it, and then just go prowling around investigating the streets. Because they are a serious bit of kit, and don't you love how I've got clay all over those as well? When will I bloody learn? Well, I guess I can learn my lesson from now and rock these bad boys. Oh, yeah. But I have said I don't want to wear these or touch any grass whatsoever until I purchase some land, and the first step I take on it is me being a farmer in fashionable style. To which I can already hear you asking, Tom, what's going on the land? And unfortunately, I've just got no updates. You heard the last phone call that I had with Ruth, my land agent, who's going back and forth trying to sort this out and just fingers crossed we can come to some sort of agreement. And there was so many comments of people from like different countries being like, wait, this makes no sense. This guy's trying to sell you the land for, for the price, but then also still have control of it. If anything, it sounds like he's renting you the land rather than selling it, which is what we can't wrap our heads around either. So hopefully we can just settle on an agreement, sec secure the sale and be sorted. And then the land would be mine. But hang on, someone's broken into my land. Get off there, you bastard. What are you doing, squirrel? Get out of here. Right, half past 12 on a Monday, Monday morning. Let's get motivated. Right, I've got everything I don't need out of my go bag. We're grabbing it and getting on with what is now our routine job, apparently, in this world. It's got everything I should need from GoPros to laptops to mounts and to tennis balls. You know, the super essential stuff. But we're shooting outside to where the Defender is looking dangerously good. Look at that park to the front of the house. I can already tell I'm going to get bombarded with questions of why you're not driving this. And I'm just going to say, there's a story and there's a reason. I I'm going to tell you but you're just gonna have to wait. And oh my gosh, I thought I'd like had a massive chip on the back of my actual car, but it's a fucking moth. You might wanna move when I start that up, mate. But it's back to business, where apparently I have a role at Syndicate Original now. Cause you stupid sausages shot me right in the foot, didn't you? The whole point of me bombarding Syndicate Original was so Alice was stressed. But oh no. Now it's the fucking CEOs being stressed out. 
Text after text after text. Tom, sort this out. Tom, come do this. Tom, go get that. Tom, we need a truck delivery down to the office. Man, I'm pushing this poor thing to its limits. It's got a bloody leak in the roof. But oh no, we're not doing deliveries today. Oh no, no, no. I've been turned into a fucking delivery driver. And I'm out getting lunch for the losers at the office. <sighs> Good secured. And Terry, thank you so much. See you later. Y you can't write that. So I just bumped into someone in my local village who lives like where I live called Terry. And she just came up to me and was like, can I have a talk to you for five minutes? I was like, oh no, what have I done? And she came over and she was just like, I love all your vlogs watched all your travel trips and I can't wait for your IB for video to come out. So Terry, if you're watching this right now, thanks for watching. I honestly, I've been back doing the vlogs and the vlogs have been doing so well just like people all over the world watching them but there's so many of like the local people in my village who were tuning in just to see the shenanigans that I get up to like when I last went in the pub the other week these guys that I know would never watch my videos not be interested in the slightest just came up to me and was like that zip line you've built is sick I just like what is going on like the vlogs I feel like I just go into a whole nother level so to you guys watching truly thank you so much if you do enjoy them Leave a like rating and make sure you're subscribed. But all right, let's get this past this <laughs> and fed into this. There you go. There's your lunch. I tell you what, to lunch and to what a weekend. How good was it? It was a 10 out of 10 trip, right? And you know what? 10 out of 10 to England as well. The weather as soon as I got back was raining yesterday. And now look at it. We might as well be in Tenerife. Now, lunch was lovely. But my mother has told me that this package is waiting for me that people have sent to the PO box. And I was going to try and open these outside, but I think it's a little bit windy. So I was going to sit down in my office, which I tidied. But as you can tell, it's good. It's, it's just gone to turmoil again. So we're going to have to make do. I've got three little parcels. Why I said little, I don't know. Because look at the size of this one. Oh. Which, mum, are you ready? I think I'm calling this now. I think I know what's in the big box. I think it's crisps. I could be very wrong, Mum, but I've got a funny feeling it's going to be Funyuns because it says American snacks on the outside and it obviously says like Frito Lay, which is kind of like Lay's crisps. So I've got a feeling someone has sent me a shitload of them. I could be wrong, but you know me, I love trying to guess what's in a box. But I'm just going to film this blank wall and put on screen right now uh, my PO box. So if you guys ever want to send me anything, you can do. I can't always promise that I'm going to show like the stuff that I get sent in. And, and more so like, I can't always promise to like reply to letters or anything like that. So listen, a comment down below is, is perfect. Cause I love to reply to you guys then. And it's just much easier. But um, yeah, for people who ever ask me like, Tom, do you have a PO box? Uh, yeah, the answer is you just saw it on screen and it it's down below in every single vlog's description, so you can find it there. But yeah, I'm just throwing this out there as well. I don't want anything. I'm not asking for anything. I don't need anything. But for people who do send stuff, if it's interesting, chances are I'm going to film it. Okay, okay. We've got package number one. Let's get in it. I think it's like a book or something like that. And it is a book of sorts. I'm writing you today to save you time and money on your furniture requirements. I would love to assist you with your project of turning Syndicate Ringel into a, work, a lovely work area. Hey, well, my mum didn't buy it. I thought she was going to shout like, It's fine the way it is. But OSR are a local family-run company that's special in office furniture. I've seen your recent vlogs and here wanting to kit out Syndicate Original. I'm a huge fan of your channel and would love to help you get this makeover completed. Get in touch if you want a free quotation sending over from Spencer Furnace, who sent me a massive book full of, like, professional office gear and oh my gosh this thing has everything from like furniture to then randomly like school, school kid stuff but on this page oh that looks sick look at that oh spencer i might be getting in touch my friend thanks for that that's actually very useful we were planning on maybe just going to ikea and kitting it out that way but uh I, I would love to know how much the things cost but nothing's got any pricing on it there's some feedback for me. Listen, that's no offense. It's just one of my little pet peeves that when you look at something in a catalog or whatever, and it doesn't have a price on it, and then you've got to ask how much it costs. It's just it's not on you. It's just a personal thing. But yeah, bro. Thanks for this. I'm going to keep that to one side for when we need to get it sorted. I did then receive this box, but basically it contains a lot of inappropriate stuff that I just can't show on YouTube. So I'm sure the person who sent that is like, no, 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 you can totally send it, but... For someone like me who doesn't smoke the marijuanas, uh, I'm not going to be showcasing any of this. Sorry to whoever it was who sent it. I don't even think I found a note or anything like that. But uh, yeah, I am not going to be showcasing this. But the reason why I may even mention it is just to say, throwing this out here for anyone else. You, you feel free to send something over like that. But if it's just not safe, it's not appropriate, and it's going to like break YouTube's terms of service, then I'm not going to be showing it. So sorry about that. But unfortunately, this box is wasted on me. So sayonara. J just for the record, that box was not filled with like loads of weed or anything like that. It was all the peripherals to 
enjoy the weeds, but as you guys know, I don't smoke the weeds, so pass it on, double it, and give it to the next owner. But it's time for the big box. Well, yeah, right. Um, I'm going to throw this out here. I think I might actually be an idiot, and someone's just packed something into a box that has previously had crisps in it, and then it doesn't actually contain Funyuns. But I'm just, I've just got a feeling that it could be a Funyun stash. Okay, here we go. Wait. Oh, box number one. Wait, what? Wait, this... What the hell? Okay, I don't think this is Funyuns. Okay, so into box number one. <gasps> Wait! I could be on the right lines! Wait, what is this? Buffalo blue cheese chips? That's not Funyuns! Box number two is going to be... What the heck is this delivery? Oh my gosh! We've got Kit Kats. Jolly Ranchers. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, what? Minecraft cereal, Oreo snacks, and oh, jackpot. Milky Way Crispy Rolls. Oh my gosh, they are 10 out of 10. What, an, wait, there's no letter. There's gotta be a letter. Aha, I found a letter. Hi Tom, I've been loving all the vlogs recently, so to celebrate your birthday, I've sent you some of the things that you have most. We've got cereal, monster, and a few extra best-selling items. I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much, King's Candy, uh, Alex particularly. I appreciate that a lot, my friend. Ooh, we have got a fruity. I tell you what, that looks like a fancy, but I could be wrong. We, we, we've then got a Mountain Dew Pitch Black, okay? We've got... What is this? I've never seen this before in my life. Get me in the box, man. What on earth is that? Monster Energy Extra Strength. What? That's bizarre. Wow, whatever this is, is heavy. I'm going to assume this is just like normal Monster Energy. What? Monster Rehab. Monster Reserve. Monster Energy Export, never heard of that one. Monster Jab a Triple Shot, bloody hell, I'll be off my tits. And Monster Jab, Jab, Jab a Triple Shot, Mocha version, and Vanilla. Mate, what the hell, by the way, this is taking me back to the OG Syndicate original days where Alice and my mum loved snacks being sent in, so just throwing that out there, they love lemon snacks. Melt. Snacks and lemon melts, but I will also throw this out here. I'm, I'm not being a weirdo, but if, if something isn't sealed, secured safely, it's not being touched. So if someone's sending something in like a plastic bag being like, I've totally not spiced this. <laughs> it's like, uh, it's going to get thrown in the bin. And that's not me being uh, rude. It's just me being honest. So just in case you never see them snacking on it. All right. We've got another box as well. Is this, go this going to be an entire crate of just OG Monster? I've got a feeling this is going to be OG Monster. There's more... Oh, good yet. Oh my gosh, man. We are really running out of space here. This is ridiculous. Right, I've reorganized so it looks a bit better, but like, I've still not even stopped. That was uh, Nino just kicking off in the background. He was fuming that he didn't get any free snacks. Listen, you can have a, you can have a Milky Way crispy, crispy roll. Thank you. 10 pounds. Wait, 10 pounds. 20 pounds. <laughs> My sweet reflex is like kicking in now. Da, 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 da. I've not even opened it all. No, I just want to choose something out of something you shouted before. Mm. See what I mean? You send snacks these. and the staff come running. You can try these. Go. Go try those. Give, give us a taste test review in a minute. Right. We've got a salt. Ugh. Oh, these are That weird. is knocking me sick. The Chinese. A salted caramel monster. Why does that exist? What is this? A... Monster Energy Ultra, Ultra Peachy Keen, a Monster Energy Drink Ultra Violet. What is going on? A Monster Super Fuel Mean Green. I've never heard of these things. There's even more. A Monster Energy Chaos with a K. A Red Bull Coffee. Never heard of that before in my life. That's so random. Just all this monster and Red Bull. Ah, a Blue Monster Ocean Blast. What the hell is going on? A Nitro Pepsi, and then last but not least, another Nitro Pepsi, but Vanilla Draft Cola. 
Wait, what? What is that about? Did, can you comprehend how much stuff I've just been sent? Where is it? Alex from King's Candy. Thank you so much for that, bro. That is absolutely ridiculous. Usually when people send me stuff from back in the day, I'd be like, piss off. You just want loads of promotion. But Alex, bro, you've, you've, got, you've gone all out there, mate. That was a massive delivery. Um, I guess I'm going to have to get these in the fridge. And then when we randomly come into the office one day, I'll give it a try and a taste test review. But stuff like what? A triple, a triple shot Monster 300 Java. Crikey, Joe, I can feel my sugar level rising just looking at it. <laughs> it really doesn't help that I'm already drinking a monster at the moment. So just seeing all this stuff is just making me feel like sickly sweet. But out of, out of all the American snacks that got sent, I honestly thought there was going to be a bucket load of Funyuns. I need to get to either an Aldi or a Lidl, apparently, in the UK, and you can find them there. But bro, that is mad. That's mad. Honestly, you did not have to do that. Thank you so much. Can't wait to come back in like two days' time and it'll all be gone because of them. Oh, wait, go on. What's the review? Oh, they love it. They're lovely. Why I think the Japanese Kit Kats. Kats. Really? Whoa. What a Milk place. tea Kit Kat. Random. Right, gang, please tell me there's a Royal Mail delivery van coming to collect these. Thank God, there's so many parcels, this is mad. But I've got to go and take care of something mad that happened whilst we were partying away in Ibiza. I may or may not jumped off a boat where if you look on this picture now, you can see if you zoom into my wrist, I was wearing a watch. And then when I came out <laughs> of said situation, I realised I was no longer wearing a watch. So I'm going getting a new one. Wait, Mum, before you seal that one, can you put that in it? No. Because one, it's in a bag. Oh. We, we haven't got any spare caps. You oh, had the oh. last one. Well, 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 let, let, let me put something in that person's bag. No, it's sealed. That's right. What about the next person's? Go on, give me a name. Give me a name. What are you thinking? Ah! She just punched me. Wait, quick, let me get on the floor. Ah! I'm, I'm going to have a black lip, mum. Bloody hell. I'll send him a milk she beats me for giving away swag. I wonder if I got that on camera. I think your big head was blocking it. <laughs> I love how the dog came over like, why are you attacking my mum? Honestly, my lip is going to be I'm purple. Sorry. You did it. She walloped me, but more so a nail. Yeah, look, you can see it turning. I'm it's sorry. going purple. You shouldn't be in the way you work. <laughs> my mum beats me. Listen. <laughs> she beats me. Right, now I'm definitely giving some swag away. Give me something no, free to give. Give crazy. me something free to give We're away. Gonna run Right, whose order is it? They're having, they're having 15 quid in their order. They're not. I'm putting it in. They're not. I'm putting it in. Put it in. No, because you I'll punched take it. me. You put out. I'm suing. I'll take it out when you go. Please put it in. You put it in and I'll undo it. Come on, put it in. You're not. I'll put it in. I'll put it in. I'll put it in. Hey, listen. I'll get you a present from the traffic center if you like to give away 15 quid. No, you don't. Put it in. Oh my god, I'm gonna go bald. I'm I tried to I tried to do nice things with my clothing line. First she punches me. She punched me in the face and then she robbed me of 15 quid. She did punch you in the face. I didn't I called I'll him. forgive you for punching me if you put the 15 quid no. in that order. You don't open it. <laughs> I can't believe I've been rob punched and robbed by my own mother in the same day. Well, shit the bed, Shirley. Fucking nothing's gone to plan since I've been here, so I'm going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're welcome for your lunch. <laughs> oh, man. That is going to be sweet. I feel like I've got, like, a bust lip. Honestly, I honest I really thought it would be cut open and blood coming out of it because she went bang, like, with a thumb to tell me to bugger off sort of thing. And I thought a nail had cut my lip. Ow. Right, time for some more bad decisions. You know, I said I was like leaving before I tried to do something nice to go and uh, replace my watch. Well, I basically got to go to the Trafford Centre to do that. You know that place that I basically live at? And I've just, oh my gosh, I'll tell you something. This, this, this car smells. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to need those as well. Thank you very much, mate. I appreciate it. No, that's yours. Oh, is it? Yeah, but it's for you. Oh, right. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. Oh. But some, for, no, 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 it's for you. But something smells in this car. You know, like when we had that water leak, like, it smells like a sweaty sock. I think I'm going to have to get this thing into a garage and get it looked at because, like, obviously it was leaking. We saw the water in the back of it, but I just thought, oh, maybe it came through a seal and that's everything, but... <laughs> you a stanky bitch. If I could just stay on track for a minute, what I was meaning to say is I'm going to the Trafford Centre, but it's 10 past three, so it's going to be chock-a-block rush hour getting there. So this is just 
This is such a bad decision. But it is what it is. And we have arrived at our destination. Like I said, I literally live here. The traffic wasn't even bad. And talk about two birds, one stone. My watch is ready for collection. And I can pick up some dinner for me and Lydia tonight. Get in. Okay, okay. Where to go, where to go. Show me the Apple Pro. How you doing, mate? I'm here to collect a watch. Whilst I'm waiting for that guy to get my watch, I feel like an idiot. I got my laptop in this colour. I didn't know you could get it in this colour. Oh, that's nice. And I just explained to the guy. I was like, oh yeah, I jumped off a, off a boat and lost it. And he went, well, this new watch, because I've got like the pro version, he was like, this is the one you should have had all along because this is made for stuff like this, like adventures and shit. So hopefully I don't lose this one. And like that, we were in and we were out and I've got a watch back. And now for some food for the lady. Actually mm, lied about that one. Apparently got a load of food in the fridge that we're going to eat. I, I was down to get some food, but I realized I wasn't hungry. Hungry. Rang her and was like, what do you want? And she was like, I'm not hungry. And we're like, yeah, let's not even pressure ourselves to make a decision. We've got food at home. We'll just cook something. And by that, I mean, we'll reheat the Chinese we had from last night. <laughs> oh, so get this AC cranked on. Because it's hot. And let's head home because it's only 4.20. Blaze it. And if we set off now, the traffic shouldn't be too bad. Famous last words. No way. I'm stuck in bumper to bumper traffic because we're waiting for some ducks to cross the road. Is it the same ducks that I saw the other day? I think it is. <laughs> That's hilarious, oh my god. I've had to quickly pull over to go and see them. Because do you remember when I saw them, when I pulled up this road and they were there? Well, they've just caused absolute standstill traffic. <laughs> because they've grown up. There's no way you've changed that much in a few days. No, there's no way they're the same ducks. Oh my gosh, please, for everything that is holy, please stay safe. No, do not cross the road. Do not cross the road. Slow down, dear. There's a duck. There's a, well, there's several ducks on the loose. No, 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 no. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Go on. Do not get cro hit. Should I knock on this person's door? Oh, they scare you. I just, I saw them the other day when they were little babies and now they've grown up so much. I was just wondering whether or not I should get them on that yeah, side. I'll get some bread to get them on that side. Do you reckon? Yeah. Right. Because the poor things are trying to cross back. Hey, dude, lad, you all right? Oh, she's going to get some bread so we can coax them over there. You have to like stop the traffic. This is a this is a fast road, man. People come flying down here. How, how are you possibly still hitting at me? I'm clearly here to help. Calm down, dear. I'm not gonna turn you into duck down. Dear mate, you're right. I saw them as babies. Oh my gosh. Right. I'll stop the traffic. Stop. Go. 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 <laughs> Come on. Go. Come on. Go. 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 Come on. Go, 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 go. Yes. No, go on. We need you. Come on, get him across. I'm going to get bloody hit here. Go on. Go on. Go on. You're safer on that side. Trust me. Yes. Hey, high five. Two, it makes a dream work. Go in the gate. Oh, I bet they're too big to get through it now. No, they're getting up there. Oh, are they? Come on, get off the pavement. Come on. Ready? Get in there. Listen, I want to trust you to not go back over there but I really think you're the irresponsible one. Stop hissing and do your job properly. Ah, oh, is it, are they getting through that gap there? No, are you, are you not supposed to be going that way? Oh, you can't write it. The neighbors are like, there's no point, mate. If you get them in, they're just gonna come straight back out. Right, I'm leaving you. Stay safe, please. Oh wait, is that the ramp? <laughs> Someone's made him a ramp to get in with. Nah, I'm not gonna be happy unless I see him go up that ramp. Come on, come on, no, come on. I haven't got bread, just go up the ramp. Come on. Come on, up the ramp. Come on. Come on. What are the chances? Mate, they nearly got hit by a car. I just stopped them. Come on. Go Don't be the one who hits them, Chris. Come on. Come on. Right, go up, go up your ramp. This better work. No, 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 no. Get in there. Go in. Can they fit? Why are you doing this? Well, um, I know I was supposed to be helping the ducks, but I got stuck, stuck talking to... The real Chris Ashcraft, oh my God, himself that the ducks have gone. I don't know if someone's nicked them, they've gone inside, but whatever. What did you just say? They're not ducks. What are they? Geese. The geese. I can't wait for all the YouTube comments to tell me I'm wrong. Someone even walked past and was like, the geese, not ducks. So we did a good deed. You Actually, you didn't do, yeah, you didn't do shit. Well, nice to see you anyway. I think we need some beers because he didn't manage to make it to the birthday, but we won't talk about it. I honestly thought we were going to get to Ibiza and he'd be there. Next time. Yeah, next time. What, when you 40? 40. 
All right, like I said, when I turned my back talking to Chris, the ducks disappeared, walked all the way up here, went round into this guy's garden, and they're safe and sound in there. So before anyone says anything like they went splat, they didn't, they're safe. Now I would be going up, but you can't write it. As I'm stood there talking to Chris, I saw his, his wife drive past, then I saw Alice and Carl drive past, and I'm supposed to be heading to their house anyway, so I'm gonna go there now, and then I just saw a friend who's been traveling Australia for the last like nine months. I said it as a joke to Chris that I should just stand on that street corner more often, but I think people in the local area might get a little bit suspicious, so I'm just gonna go to Alice's. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> there's no way. How does this day just keep getting better? Ken's at Alice's house. Where is he? Where is he, the boy? No way. Where is he? What are the chances? I can't believe it. Mate, I'm going standing on that street corner more often. Are you, mate? Bloody hell, you're right. brown. <laughs> You spent the last seven hours in, in yeah, Ibiza. On the beach, on, on the sunbed. Mate, look at the colour of you. <laughs> Probably because you're wearing a white t-shirt and not a white wall, but. Can we say this right now? Yeah. Can we say this right now? 10 out of 10, yeah. best holiday ever, oh, yeah, right? Oh, you're rough? Yeah. Are you? No, I'm all right though. I've got to be honest, I've, I've, I've no longer got like the motion sickness no, I'm and sure. I'm fresh as a daisy, like no hangover whatsoever. <laughs> Cooper. Wait, what? I didn't even know you were here! Hiya! Are you doing? Hello! Are you Gail? Hello, little you. Also, Carl, question. Hey, can I ask you a question? Why does it come with a dead fly in it? That's 100% a dead fly. Oh, no, it's fully in it. Thanks, mate. Hey, up, it's floating to the surface. I believe that is a fly that I spy. Oh, okay. and it's gone back in. Look Ken, you've got yourself a cup of tea now, mate. Enjoy. Pause everything. I came here for a birthday card off Alice and Carl, but apparently... Wait, wait, hang on a minute. What? Are you selling your house or something? Why does it like look at a, a, a shitting show home? Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's really nice. Let me guess, you've organised it inside it, haven't you? No, it's not actually. Let me see it. What's inside? Oh, what's in it? Is it just jelly cats? It's all jelly cats! Oh, jelly cats! Yeah, oh, dude! Wait a minute. On. No way. <gasps> no way! Come on. Just come on. Wait, when did it just click that he knew how to do it? No, it didn't. No way! <gasps> oh my god, Alice! Alice! My heart! Uh, this is the second time I've seen Dude, how did you just randomly decide to do this? Oh my gosh, he's evolving. He's going from the tadpoles. Well, he's gone from the tadpoles tail, Jenny. Oh my gosh, my heart. I am in absolute. I cannot believe that the last part of this afternoon of my day, I was not expecting him to be crawling. Well done, buddy. You get that remote and you get them stupid YouTube videos on that you love so much. Go on the boy. Go on the boy. <gasps> Alice, he is. Don't look at me. <laughs> I didn't mean that in a mean way. It's because he gets distracted. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. You got it. <gasps> As if grandma and granddad are here. Dad and mum and dad are here. And the godfather's here. And he's just decided to go. He's like, guys, I know you've had a great time on holiday, but I just want to steal the show. Well done, mate. Oh no, he's going to Grandad! Oh, oh, <laughs> I'm literally wondering why Dad. <laughs> why they keep stopping the child from going to Grandad. I'm like, let him go to Grandad. I'm gonna catch a moment. No. Dad's got the radiation stuff in his prostate. <laughs> Don't even think. Do you know what? We just keep getting on with life and just living it. That you just forget about the, yeah, right. the bullshit, which is quite it's nice to do. Do you know what I mean? Just forget about it, but be on positive vibes to find. When do you find out, Dad? Well, this Friday we find out. Yeah, yeah. Come on. That's not the 12 weeks as in like he can't. No. Well, well, no, but when we find an update, we'll if it's doing something. Yeah. Well, an update Friday, what, where am I? Yeah, we'll, okay. we'll know the progression <laughs> of it. We're, we're, we're totally not going to stage the shot, shot. Thanks, Arlo. That's so kind of you. <laughs> That'll do. D don't get upset with me now. This says Uncle Tom on it. And it's bent Aww. because it's been to IB for him back. And it's bent because he if, 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 if forgot to give me an IB thing. You had too much to drink, didn't you? You got my other card as well. Thanks, pal. Right, let's get in it and see what Uncle Tom's got from Little Harlow as he's crawling away. Literally crawling away. Oh, for you, it's not <laughs> oh no! Sorry, Uncle Tom, happy birthday. 
That doesn't even look like him. That top one. I know, but look that, how he's looking at you. Oh, that's like that was my that is my favorite picture of all time I've ever had with him. I I couldn't. Achieve, why does he multiple? There's not just I one know. with me with a beer with a baby. Why does he go to? There's yeah. multiple. You want to come to the pub with me in half an hour? Oh, is that thirty kisses? Is that 30 yeah. Kisses? Or to Uncle Tom, happy thirtieth birthday, Uncle Tom. Love the use of the Uncle Toms. Mummy tells me that it's a special birthday, so I thought I'd get you a special card. She also tells me you're really old now. Thank you for letting me come with you to my meeting to celebrate your birthday with you. Mummy said, don't get too used to this life of luxury. Anyway, happy birthday. I love you lots and lots and lots. Love from Arlo with 30 kisses. Arlo, thank you. Thank you. Are you coming? Thank you. He's the best. I know. My my guy's just learnt to crawl and he's kicking off because he's... He, what's wrong with you? How could he be upset? Oh, no. oh, 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 oh. I'll pick you up. You want to open the car? No, I'm waiting. What's the bottom? Whip out Should of we balls? open this one? Happy birthday, poop head. Literally says poop head. Poo head. It says up. Oh, it doesn't say poop. Poo it says poo head. It says happy birthday, poo head. Old and up wiser. Wow, flipping heck. This is long. No, sorry, I've always been rude there. To Tom, happy 30th birthday. Saw this card and couldn't and couldn't not. And couldn't not. It's no, it's okay. Oh. It seemed like the perfect card for a sister to get a brother, especially you. Ha ha ha. Anyway, let the celebrations commence as if we're in effing Ibiza. I don't say that when it's a naughty word. What a way to celebrate uh, to celebrate turning 30 in style. Then it says it says like there's an arrow to turn over and it says older not wiser. Then there's another thing. <laughs> Wait, why is there an arrow pointing that way and an arrow pointing that way? You all right? Then it's, what is wrong with you? Yeah, what is wrong with you? Have you seen the way this is laid out? This is bizarre. Oh my God. Right? Then it says, sadly, there's no present with this card. As every time I ask you what you want, you tell me uh, to leave you alone until after I beat So after this weekend, let me know before, before I have to decide for you. All I love always, Alice, Carl and Theo. Why didn't you write Al on? Because he got you his own card. You've got to put him on with that as well. Oh, yeah. Alice, I don't like asking for, for presents, so I'd like you to surprise me. There for you God's go. Sake. Nope. Sorry. It is what it is. If you need some inspiration, Lydia's mum got me Crocs lights. Croc lights. I thought you might have given me an idea of something you mm, wanted. No. Alice, I am the most content man in life. I don't need anything. Thank you. Your presence in Ibiza was enough. But I want a present off you. I <laughs> Just because I like putting I you know. through stress. <laughs> yes! Yes, hello! Yes, hello! Oh, in the noor. That was the actual statement of the holiday. All day, everyone just going, oh, in the noor. But Alice and Carla just walking around the house. I'm like, you can't leave the baby on his own. He cr crawls now. You can't. No, 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 no. No, I'm not calling you out because I'm, I'm defending you here because I was like, you can't do that. But then I went in, I went in there to see where Alo is. And even though he's learned to crawl, he is big chilling, enjoying the jellyfish show. Hey, yeah, uh, you're going nowhere, are you? <laughs> Mate, I can't tell if you're terrified or A-OK. -okay. I love you, my little buddy. To saving geese, <laughs> not ducks. Cheers. I'm always in this pub. And it's perfect. Well, this is pretty awkward. Chris Ashcroft had to go because he's his little boy. Pooped his nappies too many times and he ran out, so he had to leave. But I'm uploading the vlog and my dinner's arrived. Beautiful. Um, not so much. So I put this out here that the vlog is probably gonna be late today. And I was like, yeah, yeah it'll be a little bit late. However, it processed on YouTube this, this massively long 4K vlog, like the day one of my birthday party. It processed and I was like, sweet, we're good. I screenshotted it and sent it to Orion asking him about the thumbnail and the title. And he replied to me saying, why is the video only 55 minutes and 25 seconds long? It should be over an hour. To which this was the conversation with me and Orion trying to work out what the hell was going on, which file I downloaded and where the new one is. <sighs> And we are completely stumped. We have got a like a perfect system of Orion uploads a file, I download it with my fast internet and upload it because it's just it's just easy that way. I know some people say like, oh Tom, why don't you get Orion to upload the vlog for you as like a channel manager? But my internet's that much faster than Orion's that it works out for me to do it. But we've basically found out that I've somehow got a corrupted or not 
right version of the vlog. And it's missing like 20 minutes worth of footage from it and it's 9.20 at night. I'm sat at the pub, which is like closing down almost. I've been here for that long to the point where whilst I was sat with Chris enjoying a beer, I bumped into someone who watches the videos with his partner who also watches the videos and they told me that they're having a baby and everything. I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. Congratulations. And then like an hour went by and I just bumped into some other people from Leicestershire. Is that Le Leicestershire? I think that's the place, I think. And they, they randomly turned up because they were like, they recognised it from the vlogs and they drove over the snake pass. Thought they'd come in and see what the place was about and found me just sat here with my laptop like an absolute loner in the pub. But I am determined to get this fixed and uploaded and sorted. But this is just another day in the life of Tom. By himself. <laughs> In a pub, trying to upload a YouTube video. What a potato. What a potato. And you know it's a bad situation where you can actually drive home from the pub. I was going to plan on leaving this here. But I can actually drive home. Didn't even manage to have a drink properly with Chris. I was hoping to stay here. Lydia was going to offer to pick me up so I could leave it behind. And then I just had vlog problems. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about... Talk about this is not how I saw my night going whatsoever. I was I was ready to chill with Chris, have a bunch of pints and get picked up. Well, you know what? As we've seen with this day, everything happens for a reason. Maybe it's destiny from stopping me from having a hangover the next day. Who knows? Who knows? Who's an idiot sandwich? Am I? <laughs> no, <laughs> me. Oh, dear. <laughs> what did you do? Well, what time is it? <laughs> 10 o'clock. Sure as shit, didn't get the vlog live for seven. That's all I'm going to say. Bad person. Bad person. Disappoint. You disappoint? I'm a disappointment. You got yourself <laughs> down. You got your fans down. Disgusting. I couldn't let the fans down because I killed one. Out of context, that does not sound right at all. But it is what it is. And it is 11.06 and just about 20 or 30 minutes ago, I got the vlog live, was sat, watching it in bed. And the people are able to watch the vlog. I can't believe it, man. I'm so sorry. There were so many behind the scenes shenanigans and we already know if I put one on screen now, explosion, we missed a few of them, but don't worry about it. The vlog is out and I'm so glad people are watching it. The comments seem to be people loving it, but more so, don't forget, this is just the birthday day. Wait until you see the birthday movie. But oh lord, I completely forgot I got my new watch. I've not even bloody set it up. More so, I actually need to put it on charge. So I'm going to unbox it now, which looks a little something like this. Ooh. Yeah, take away the thing that says watch. And then you see another watch. Where inside that, you actually have the watch. And then back inside this, you actually have the watch strap, which, oh, I don't know if I... Well, I think the whole point of that strap being what comes with it is so when you dive into the ocean... You don't lose it. Noted. And then I don't think there's anything else I need from that, so skadoosh. But ooh la la, look at that. Wow, that has got some weight to it. Lipping heck, compared to the other Apple Watch, that is heavy. But if we take it out and take a look, that is a nice build. Oh, yes, it is. And I feel like I have to say this, not for the sake of saying it, but it does feel like a good quality product, like an actual really heavy metal, sturdy watch. That doesn't just feel like it's going to break. But is it good to go straight out the box? Do I just hold down the power button and will it start? Will it blend? Oh, it will. Oh, amazing. Uh, I take that back. It says low battery mode. And with the power of time travel, it's now the next morning. I've got the watch charged. And I tell you what, it's a lot bigger than the previous one. And look at that. Like, like, listen, I'm a little bit mind blown right now. Because I was just going to get like the normal Apple Watch. Because when I say like certain things change my life for the better, getting this MacBook has helped me be so much more productive with the vlog because I send the footage from this to the laptop and then the laptop uploads it rather than my phone being like, I have to do all the hard work. But when I got the Apple Watch, the text features, the everything features, the smart features, using it as a like a card or anything, there's so many features of it that completely changed my life that the last like two or three days going without it, it's like, wow. I feel so less efficient as a human being. But one of the biggest downsides about this Apple-like old school watch or the previous version was the battery life. However, I knew 
This one was an improvement. And if you actually read about it, you can have a 36 hour battery day with it or in low power mode, 60 hours. Which just for the record, I know some people are gonna be like, yeah, but my Casio 3310 watch Tom lasts 19 billion years and never dies. But trust me for like the smart features this watch has are just amazing. But I had no idea it could last that long. Now, I've only just like got it out of the box and don't even know half the features it has. But something I'm gonna say that has blown my mind is, I, this is just some like crazy fancy looking watch face, which I'm gonna get rid of and you can like change it just to look like a normal watch, like just a ticking clock, right? But if you do this, check this out. It goes into like, what is it? Spider-Man Far From Home kill mode. Look at that, that that's amazing. To which I'm sure people are gonna be like, Tom, are you really that impressed that this watch, which is made for like winter Arctic climbing, rock smashing protection. The only thing you're bothered about is that it goes red and the answer is, well, yeah, pretty, pretty much. But you know what? It's pretty much the next day at 11, 11, so make a wish. To where I'm gonna say, ladies and gentlemen, I must end this vlog right now. I thought this was gonna be a short vlog because we have got the birthday movie to edit. When I say it is gonna be a big task, I mean it's gonna take Orion and cameraman Ben as a team to work together to try and get it done. I, Orion's already been like, we probably need another editor to get this thing put together in time for Saturday, so... I'm just so fingers crossed that we can get it done. I don't keep filming so much because this is a long vlog. This vlog was not supposed to be this long. Like with all the unboxing stuff, I was not expecting this to be a long vlog. This was, I told you, my these weekday vlogs are supposed to be 10 to 20 minutes long. That's it. But 54 minutes, 33, 35, an hour and 12. I'm literally bad at my job. But you guys are absolutely booming it. So I say this, guys, Thank you to all 4,566 of you who have subscribed to the channel since I've been back weekday vlogging. I am having so much fun with it and I hope you guys are as well. I hope you've been enjoying the videos. There's still so much to come. We've got so many projects on. Like, it's just absolutely unreal. I'm supposed to be, I'm, I need to wrap this up, but I'm supposed to be having a meeting this week with a builder. I, I know I need to address the whole houses situation and stuff like that with this and next door, but like... Yeah, I know I've said this, long story short, everything got kind of put on pause with like my granddad's situation and more so the cost of materials because of COVID and stuff, but we need to get the ball rolling, all right? We need to get it going. But listen, guys, if you're excited for like what we've got ahead in these vlogs, make sure you tune in every weekday at 7 p.m. ish. Should we, should we 7 p.m. ish? Should I, should I start renaming it from um, I'm a daily vlogger that loads every day at 7 p.m.? It's I'm a week daily, a week daily vlogger at about 7 p.m. ish for your faces. But yeah, if you guys do enjoy these videos, guys, do me a favor, make sure you click the subscribe button, dig down the notification bell, and don't forget to leave a like button and let me know in the comments down below what your favorite moment was. So yeah, pray for me and fingers crossed this birthday movie will come together. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Much love and adios.